All right, uh, just going to throw together some concepts here. What I've been seeing lately where I'm seeing this prophetic time clock and all that. All right. I just heard it said it. I overheard uh, like a video or something where they were discussing this topic of uh, the three unclean spirits that are like frogs. And I'm not sure if it says it comes out the, the mouth of the dragon and then it goes into the beast of the earth. See, there's a lot of contention. Who's the actual Antichrist and who is the false prophet and uh, so on and so forth. You know, and it's like it's very deceptive, man, how this works and how it could work, even with the beast of the sea and the beast of the earth. And there's a king of the north and the king of the south. It's like... uh. There, it seems like there's some kind. There's something. There's still someone who is hidden. You know what I mean? And who is who is that for sure? I don't know. But there, I believe there still is a hidden figure who's going to emerge later. And I think that's what you would call the, the the beast of the earth. And then there's this beast of the sea. See now, you even see how the Pope calls himself the Holy Sea, the Holy Sea. So I'm like, I'm almost like this guy is tagging that title of the beast of the sea. Because the sea, the sea in the Bible means when you when any with Jesus said the sea, he, it means multitudes of people. Okay, so the beast of multitudes of people. So, and you can look the 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 Catholic enterprise has factions and sections and sects in every every uh, tongue multitude place on this earth. So, but then you know you look at like Obama. You know I always call him Screwface. Because uh, of that Steven Seagal movie, uh, Mark for Death, where this guy has a, he has a twin and they kill one of the twins and then the other twin comes out and it looks like the dude was resurrected from the dead. And there is a lot of talk about Lazarus going on right now. Lazarus, Lazarus coming back from the dead. So I'm thinking that they're about to pull the screw face situation where the beast receives a head wound and is miraculously healed. I think that this is going to happen soon. I feel, I feel that the, so called Illuminati is telegraphing this and their symbolism everywhere. You know what I'm saying? The fact that they're pointing to the mountain right now, but they're going to strike the grindstone. I'm speaking on this is the grindstone. They're pointing to the mountain. You know what I'm saying? But this is what the grindstone is is that the beast shall receive a head wound. And this is this is their code name for Lazarus, the spaceman. Uh, or Rob Skiba had made a good video about how Nimrod they found him in a in a pit and basically it was a body in remarkable uh preservation and that's what the, those people in the the Middle East were known for is making these mummies with with hopes of one day's being reconstituted and here we are in the future where they can clone things and whatnot but uh I mean it's like you know the, the it's like the Pope definitely fits, but so does Obama. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but now there's, I hear people saying that Obama's not going to do the third term now. He's just going to jump. He's going to go straight from the from varsity to the pros, head of the UN. And uh, therefore, he'll still be our president because what it is, is just I forfeit the title of ruler of America. Now I'm the king of the earth, basically. And I don't, I don't know why they would do that, but. I don't know why they do this, some of the things they do, but that would make sense because it doesn't make sense and there's no way you could actually prepare for it because it doesn't make no real sense to why they're actually doing it unless you put take in the the supernatural element to it. Like, is are some of these people clones? How does th three spirits, unclean spirits like frogs, enter into a man? And it says that these three unclean spirits, so look, this is like Legion, but this is like, the legionnaire, the, the the captain of the legions, these spirits are. And they go into this guy, the beast of the earth. Can't be the Pope because the Pope is really, he claims the sea. That he's the, the mother of the sea. You know what I'm saying? The mother of the holy sea is what they call it. Uh, and, and it's also, you know, since they, they claim the deity of a, of a female, of the Madonna of Isis. And in the Bible, it always talks about her, her, her. There's, there's a, the, it's like the beast kingdom a lot of times is referred to as her, her, her. You know what I'm saying? And uh, 
And it, it it's even called the Mother Church. You know what I mean? But I'm thinking they're going to have a King Arthur event. You know what I'm saying? Where, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. I, I ain't going to say much more than that. The King Arthur uh, event, that Mario Vinci and uh, Christ bloodline. You can follow up into that. And that, that really, that doesn't lead to Obama or the Pope, but it leads somewhere. You know, and that could be your beast of the earth. You know, uh who actually is the one who gets the three frogs to go into him. And it says they give him the power to do miracles in the sight of men. But it's not him. It's like this guy has three fallen angels. Like maybe they're multidimensional and, and they're invisible to us or to the people. Or maybe they're, they're visible. And it's still this man has great power because he can do these things. He has control over these things. But if you revere it, that's because you must be ignorant of who you're looking at. You know what I'm saying? That's the uh, which which part of a you know which part of the beast. The beast has many horns and uh, it has many aspects and even it metamorphosizes from different kind of creatures to even more and more. It starts off you know as just predators like lions and uh, jaguars and bear, and then it flips into this dragon creature you know what i'm saying it's like and we don't even have any dragons left alive to actually look at living well other than komodo dragons and those 25 foot long crocodiles that's as close to a dragon as you really need to get it'll kill you in other words but you know those are the those are the last remnants of the dragons uh but who knows man with just once again just like jurassic park which is a illuminati card deck and the, and the beast is known as the dragon and the serpent. You, you know, you hear all these people talk about the draconian reptilians. And then, you know, even in Daniel, who talks about the king of the north and the south and the beast, that's the 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 bear and the, the bear with the rib in its mouth and all that. And the uh, leopard and uh, uh, anyway, uh, this it, uh, oh uh, man, I forgot what the hell I was saying. But anyway, yeah, back to the three, the three uh, unclean spirits. So, and I, I, I'm wondering if that is actually directly tied into when uh, the, Euphr the Euphrates dries up. And uh, it says that there's four angels that are locked in there. And when it dries up, they get released from these pits in the earth. And these are those same angels who... Uh, Supposedly from the Enoch time that came and taught mankind how to uh, mix angelic mm, angelic uh, force or whatever with uh, human woman force. And this is really where you get your the, the reverence of the virgin or the woman. Really, I, I believe to them this is actually what that means is how did the fallen angels get their seed into mankind well through some woman somewhere at some time that's why the woman is elevated above the man because that's why the second of creation is elevated above the 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 head to them because these angels who weren't permitted to do this thing which is spoken of in jude the angels that kept not their first estate came and took the daughters of the men of who they would so that's their that's why they're given so much elevation and worship and reverence there is because it's it was the angels and their sons it's like they believe in their mothers because if it wasn't for their mothers they wouldn't have had the this this uh angelic uh fatherhood or impregnant in impregnation or whatever however you say that so that that once again this this is the realm we're dealing in here we're actually where people can where we got higher than human intelligence interacting on a on a major scale in, in the the geopolitical geopolitical religious uh uh systems of the world where they actually use it to make a one world system and this was done in the time of nimrod at the tower of babel and what's funny now is they talk about this elevator to space and you can look in 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 uh genesis the nimrod story it's also in Jasher as well, when it, and it gives an alternate account of the same story. And so it reveals different aspects of the same story. Um, this is going on as we speak right now. You know what I'm saying? So uh, once again, this is crazy shizzle. And then they're saying that they're finding these 
these beings floating through the sky that are watching everything. But it says even in Jude, once again, these wandering stars is what they're called. Preserve darkness and blackness forever. And these things are really, it's they say they're invisible. So these things are wandering through space, through the darkness. And Enoch calls them the falling stars, which which is another name for angels. Then you look at all these planets, and the planets are attributed with angel names. You know what I'm saying? So I mean I'm wondering uh I'm wondering how this all clicks and jives together, if that's just allegorical, uh if that is each angel assigned to a different his location, like you can camp here and watch from here. And then these guys at one time, you know, were sitting up there, you know, bored or whatever, like, hey, let's go win. Uh, let's go there, man. Instead of just sitting here and watch, let's go. But and, uh, supposedly that happened. And it's it's prophesied to happen again in a certain way. So I'm just trying to say, look, it's very supernatural when you say dragon. That is a very supernatural creature. Uh, even a, a serpent, you know, that's very supernatural if it's a, a a serpent with human or consciousness or intelligence. And it even says with great intelligence and very great cunning and subtlety is the is the attributes of the serpent. And uh, so you got to think that dragon's got to be like he's got to be like a lawyer, like someone who knows how to speak in such a way that gets you on board, that draws you in. That wins you over to, you know, that. Uh, so that's the way you also got to look at it. Is it going to be this terrorizing, ferocious thing? Yes. If you don't take it sales pitch, you know what I'm saying? If it's if it's mind tricks don't work on you, it's going to be boom, boom. All right. Well, then the uh, the terrorism, if if the what is it? If the diplomacy don't work, the terrorism will. The tyrannicalness will. The tyrannical Tyrannosaurus Rex of the beast uh you know the beast of the earth so it's pretty crazy so there, there's an element to this that i wasn't seeing it's like almost like you know you get these two witnesses that come back and they have these certain powers to bring the plagues that happened in, in basically in exodus when moses was uh rolling uh through town and telling the pharaoh that uh his message it, so the, these guys are given these three spirits like frogs, and I'm not sure exactly how that's actually going to work. And it's, it's actually it's it's pretty it's pretty crazy when you actually look at it. It's almost like this guy, he this guy is like he's the gun, and then these three spirits go into him, and he, they're like the clip, they're like the bullets. There's what gives they're what gives him the the power. It doesn't come from him himself. It's kind of like uh yeah it's weird it's like the jinn you know like he's got power over a few of these real powerful jinn and people are just ignorant to the to these jinn things and these archons like it's spoken of in daniel the prince of persia it's an archon uh or cosmic crater which means like a it's basically like a chief a chief deity uh, or like a little g deity or a entity an angel a, a demon it's something like that it's supernatural and but they have control and influence over the greatest of physical things over of over the very nations of the of the land of over which these cosmic craters sit they have some kind of alliance with the leaders and the rulership or the structure and the way of that matrix of that area and how it rolls like in other words these people give them some worship kick them some energy some praise and these things give good influence on the area but uh it's some of the reasons why you look at like washington dc and you see a five-pointed star in in the layout of the streets and then the you know and all this, this stone penises and reflecting pools and wombs of isis uh, in the state building and all this other weirdness it's because it's the same thing there's obviously must be a cosmic crater over america uh that these guys are trying to uh declare their it's their uh their uh it's kind of like the jinn what is thy bidding master they're trying to get their authority over them by putting their seals in the ground and saying look we run this and you have to follow us basically i don't know it's crazy stuff man but the three unclean spirits